Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Wasteland 2. In the previous episode, we began helping out in the Ag Center by clearing out the greenhouses and rescuing the people therein. Unfortunately, Rose got infected with the pod person infection at the same time. Still have no idea how. So we need to start getting our way to finding some fungicide to make a cure for that before she turns into a pod person. Now, before we get into this episode, and let me pause it so that that infection timer doesn't count down, I'd just like to remind you guys to please hit the straw poll links in the description below to vote for our Armello upload schedule and to vote for our next Let's Play. Also, if you like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit the little bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. Now, as Kathy was telling us in the previous episode, this computer can help us out by opening the airlocks. It can, however, only do it one at a time. Or at least that's how it's supposed to, unless you hack it, which with Rose is very possible. Now, these different pathways lead to the eastern and western fields. But, that's not where we want to go right now. Where we want to go instead... ...is to the, uh... ...is to the fungal caves to find the fungicide. All airlocks open. Available commands. Status report. Exit. Get me a status report. East ventilation shaft status, one of five active. Engage all fans to evacuate airborne toxins. Yep, there's toxins in those tunnels. West ventilation shaft, zero of one active. Engage all fans to evacuate airborne toxins. Alright, good to know. Anyways, we're going to be heading this way into the fungal caves. To find us, well, some fungicide. Found mushroom caves. That's where Dr. Larson did all his fungal research. I'm seeing a lot of movement in there, but none of it looks human. No, no it isn't. Alright, first off... mushrooms. First Making off... Making them bigger than they helped. What the heck? Huh, I guess one of the flies set off a trap or something. Anyways, like I was saying, brains take out these fungal pods. Reason I'm using her is because, one, she has a lot of ammo. And two, I'm not really going to be using her in combat because her energy weaponry aren't or isn't effective against, uh, against, uh, non-conductive enemies. Okay, Face, why don't you take a free shot on the fly? Okay, wasn't expecting that to succeed. Uh, Eagle Eye, you crouch down and start taking shots. I'd prefer it if that was successful, but oh well. Uh, Rogue, you get over here and keep doing it. Yeah, I was right. One of the flies did set off a trap. What trap they set off, I have no idea. Uh, Angela, you get over here. Crouch down. See, when it comes to melee enemies, cover is not that big of a deal, quote unquote. It can still be needed, but because these guys are primarily melee, <clears throat> excuse me, there's not much point to it because they'll just go around it. Oh, come on. That was clearly a hit based on the sound effect. Uh, Brains, you just go into ambush, and I've lost control of Rose. Yes, of course I have. Oh well, still though, these narrow tunnels will work to her advantage with the pod people. Well, with any enemy. Because that just makes her shotgun all the more effective. Hopefully. That's assuming it doesn't jam. Ooh. Two for one. With a lucky crit. And not enough AP. Okay. 
here. Nothing left for you to do. Let's see. Face. Go after that pod person. Same thing for you, Brains. Just keep crouching down. Ah. Really hoping you'd hit. I must put you out of your misery. Yeah, well, here's hoping they don't put you out of yours. I want to shoot that pod person, but I can't. Because Rose is right there. Just gonna have to end, end, end. Ugh. I must put you out of your misery. I need to get that leadership skill up. Oh well. Just use these painkillers on yourself. Okay, face. Let's start a loot. Take all. What's this? Infected heart. Take it. Take it. And compound eye. Gross. Take it. Then let's swap over to brains. Ooh, wait, let's reload everyone. Have her go solo, and then start shooting the pods. Because even though we are well on our way to gaining a cure, I'd rather still not get anyone infected. If you know what I mean. Oop, there's a pod there hiding behind a mushroom. I mean, yeah, this is going to cost her a lot of ammo, but we're not going to be encountering all that many conductive enemies early on in the game. Come on. Whoa. Huh. Guess those must have been the traps. Don't think there's any more enemies. So I'm safe to send her in here. Alright, that should be all of it. Well, most of it. I believe what we need is actually in this area, so let's get the team back together. Reloaded. Get this, sell it later. Let's see, how's Rose doing? Plenty of time. In which case, we can start going after some of this stuff in here. Like this guy. Rose. Well, let me quick save first. Then help him, because if this fails once, he's dead. I believe the plants just rip him apart. Thank you, Rangers. Anytime, pal. Anytime. See more shotgun shells for Rose. I bet you make making use of them. And now let's head into what I'm assuming is some sort of storage area. Hmm. Woman's fingernails are splintered and bent back. It looks like she was clawing at something. It also looks like she took a shotgun blast to the face. You'd think that would be the first thing that is brought up. The bizarre contraption looks like a cross between an industrial sprayer and a flamethrower. It has the word herbicide scratched on the side of it, but with the herb, Herby has been hastily painted over with fungi. And it's wearing a smiling photo ID badge labeled Ryan Herbison. Next to the body lies a strange weapon. Let's check this thing out. Go away, Sergio. Da -da -da -da. Seems to be an energy weapon. Let's see if it's any better than what we've got. Mm, a little bit. But not by much. Go away, Sergio. 
land smells of booze and sadness. You ain't Sergio no more. Please, don't make me shoot you. Don't make me do to you what I had to... to... <laughs> We're the Rangers, Rangers, pal. You bastards, what took you so long? Hang on, I'll unbar the door. Hello, Skinner. Okay. okay, you're still people. So what are you doing here? You come to save the day? Well, you're too late. Oh, hi, Dr. Rose. Didn't see you there. Hello, Mr. Skinner. Why did you say we're too late? Maybe if you would have come earlier, I wouldn't have had to kill my wife. What the hell took you so long? Sergio, who's that? My son. He was with his mama in the fields when everything went insane. I guess he must have caught the sickness somehow. Because when he came home with Marta, he... He attacked me, just like she did. So glad the blast that, that killed Marta scared him off. I, I couldn't bear to kill my wife and my son in the same day. You killed the woman out there? My... My wife, Marta, she and my son, Sergio, were out in the fields when the madness started. I guess they came down here to the caves to find me. They found me all right, but it wasn't them no more. What do you think of the Desert Rangers? Always happy to see the Rangers come around. Matt was a Ranger once. Did you know that? I hear you know the merchant who saw Ace die. Who? Oh, you mean Sammy Haas? The snake squeezins man? Yeah, he was there when Ace was attacked. Don't know how much you'll get out of him, though. He was so scared when he told me, I could hardly understand what he was saying. Where can we find Sammy? If you're lucky, he'll be in Real Nomad. That's where he stocks up on snake squeezins before he makes his rounds. So you like snake squeezins? They are God's greatest gift to his creation. Most delicious thing you'll ever taste. And really takes the edge off... Well, everything. Did Sammy tell you anything about the attack? I couldn't get much sense out of him about that. All I know is that someone or something attacked him, and Ace fought it and died. You want more details? You'll have to get them from Sammy, if you can. When did the madness start? I started seeing it in the mushroom caves about an hour ago. The mushrooms growing out of control, the other guys getting sick, acting funny. Then the alarm started going off. I tried to head upstairs to find Marta and Sergio, but Doug from Engineering and a few of the others chased me in here and tried to tear my face off. And then, then Marta and Sergio showed up. If I found out somebody sabotaged us, I'd, I'd kill them. What are the mushroom caves? That's where we experiment with new breeds of mushrooms and other fungi. Not the cheeriest job in the world, being underground all day, but I like it. Cool and quiet down there. At least it was, until the madness started. You think somebody did this on purpose? Can't say for sure, but I have my suspicions. That Sue fella, for one. Always trying to breed weird new plants. Maybe one of his experiments got out of control. What kind of sabotage? Some of the fellas thought somebody might put something in the nutrient mix. They headed off for the irrigation shutoff valve with Doc Larson to turn it off. Don't think they made it, though. I can still hear the pumps. What do you think of the boy named Sue? That boy's a strange one, and I don't mean his name. Knew a guy named Moonbat once, so Sue don't phase me. Kathy hired him on as a research assistant, but all he does is bitch about the way we do things around here. Keeps saying the plants should be free, that we shouldn't be hoarding them all to ourselves. If you ask me, he's the fella behind this mess. He did something to the plants to make them tear this place apart and escape into the world. If I see him, I'm gonna give him one for Marta and Sergio right between the eyes. Yeah, something tells me we're gonna beat you to the punch on that one. Larson said that closing the pump valve would shut down the irrigation system. Maybe keep the infestation from getting any worse. Been gone way too long, though. Okay. Doc's a great guy. Been keeping us fit and healthy ever since he showed up here a year ago. Me and him are good pals. He always comes down to the mushroom cave to chat and pass the time. Always interested in what we're working on down here. Said fungi and molds could be very useful to him in his work. Hmm. And now, he's gone up with the fellas to help shut down the pumps, while I just been hiding in this storeroom. Makes me ashamed of myself. 
he doesn't even own a gun. I just hope he's still alive. We're all gonna need a lot of healing when all this is over. What do you know about the pumps? They push water and fertilizer out to all the fields and greenhouses. Sort of the beating heart of Ag Center. Why are you hiding, even though he's already I explained I can't help it. it. My son's out there. What's left of him, anyway. I don't want to come upon him suddenly and have to... to shoot him. Much better if somebody else does it. We clear a path to the lobby. You can escape. Thanks, but I don't know if I'm ready to go. Don't want to see any ghosts. What do you mean by ghosts? What else would you call dead people you knew and loved who are still up and walking around? I killed one already. I don't want to kill no more. I'd call them zombies, but that's just me. Hey, Rangers. If you're gonna be heading out, would you mind me coming with you? Talking to you has made me ashamed to be hiding when there's work to be done. I know I might meet my son out there, but that shouldn't stop me from trying to get moving and see what I can do to help upstairs. Can I follow you? Just till we get out from the caves? Sure. Thank you. I feel better already. Okay, let's go. Let's see, what's this? Uh, uh, Mark fungicide, do not ingest. Well, someone tells me we're gonna have to do that. In one way or another. Uh, Scorch snuff box. Eh. More stuff to sell. Brains! Mind shooting those plants for us? Ah, uh, thank you. See anything else in this room I'm not seeing? New? No? Okay. Ah. But of course, it's locked, and none of us have the skill to do it. Oh well, just gonna have to content ourselves with the boxes. I'll take that. And Rose can have this. And I'll take that. And I'm aware we have a level up for Angela, but right now I just want to get back. Before we come back to exploring. As a matter of fact, I'll meet you guys at... Uh, back with Kathy Lawson. And if anything happens between then and now, I'll show it. I don't get down here a lot. Afraid I don't know much about it. Good lord. Look at the size of that mushroom. Hey, thanks Skinner for leaving me out. Caves Please look than for anyone. Sergio. I just know he'll turn up. I... I just wish I was strong enough to go with you. Don't worry about it, man. Alright, Kathy. We've got your fungicide. So? Have you found the fungicide yet? Matt is deteriorating rapidly. Yep. Thank God, you're just in time. Give it to me and wait right here. Matt, your case is very acute. I'm going to have to inject a high concentration dose directly into your veins. Kathy, I... I don't... I don't think... Shut up and give me your arm. I... I can feel it working. Hurts, but it's better. Better. Th thank you, Kathy. Thank you, recruits. I I'm, I'm gonna need some more time on the sidelines, but I, I think... I think I'm gonna make it. Thank you, Rangers. If you have a sec, I have one more request for you. You'll be especially interested if any of you caught the infection. Sure, what you got for yes. us? Thank you, Rangers. Matt would have died without you, not to mention the rest of us. But there's one last thing to be done. Get the cure into the fertilizer reservoir. Before you can do that, you'll need to finish shutting down the irrigation system. Come back here when you've done that. Okay. What do you think of Dr. Larson? Larson has been a godsend here. Not only is he a fine general practitioner and surgeon, he's doing great work in the field of fungal biology. He has really expanded our areas of research. See you around, Rangers. Yes, thank you, Rangers. Matt would have died without you, not to mention the rest of us. See you around, Rangers. So you're not giving us the cure, are you? No, no you didn't. Well, shit. Looks like we're still on the clock. Yay. Fine, then. Alright, let's get that level up for us so she can at least get her. Yeah, congratulations, Echo One. So she can at least get her, uh, field medic skill. 
Yeah, let's get that up to two anyways. See anybody else? She has some points available. What can I give to her? Uh may as well give her the outdoorsman. Like I said, she's not gonna be sticking around forever. As a matter of fact, the story will actually force her to leave. But until then, may as well keep her up to snuff. Alright, back down to the fungal caves. Okay, back down in the fungal caves. May as well head down this path that we came down to earlier. As usual, I'm going to be sending brains in to blast these things. Just so that we don't have to worry about any more infections. Gotta be careful because there's... Oh, shoot. There's a pot person over there. And a bunch of maggots. Let's see if I can blast this without getting caught. Good. Let's group up and get everybody in here. Ah, face. Take a free shot. Oh, there's Sergio. Well, good thing we didn't take our buddy down here with us. Same as always, crouch down and start shooting. Ooh, nice one. Get you moved up here. Let's see, crouch down, gonna have enough for one shot. Wasn't enough, but still, it's a nice damage. Get candy okay, yeah, I think our next priority for face is gonna be leveling up her uh, leadership skill to stop that from happening. Uh, just don't ambush. Because I'm getting sick and tired of these people. Okay. Oh, what has happened to you, dear? I will end your suffering. Ah, uh, take out the fly. I know you have a better shot on the Mega Maggot, but others can handle that one. At least they would if they'd stop missing. Skinner, I'm so sorry. Sergio was a good boy. Yeah, he was a good boy. Right, take that, take that, take that. Last of that. There's no point in trying to get in here. Believe me, I've tried. No idea how. I'm not seeing any more of those... Oh, wait, no, there's one more pod. But I think beyond that, there's nothing else left. So let's just dig up that spot. Hope it was worth it for the ammo that we had to use. A bit of scrap, some tobacco to sell, I guess. Alright, now we're going to want to head back and start trying to go down those tunnels. Oh, which one had which? Because I, I want to get that irrigation thing shut down. Let's uh, shut down the infestation. In the east fields. West fields. Water pump. Oh, well... We're actually going to have to go to both. Let's see. So that way is the western, this way is the eastern. Phew. Going to have to go to both either way. Okay, I'm going to go in solo with just... Well, let me see. Yeah, with Rogue. Because she's the only one with lockpick skills. Shit. Those fumes in the ventilation tunnels look toxic. You're either going to have to run through there fast, or you're going to have to get all the fans running. It might clear it out. Uh, 
let's see. Flashing red light means the airlock is hard locked. Well, shoot. That means I'm gonna have to shut these fans down. I'm gonna go around through here. She's gonna need some TLC later to take care of that. What was that? Wiring from, uh, uh, wiring from from the con fan control switches terminates in the circuit breaker. If you need to shut down all the fans in this tunnel, you've come to the right place. Well, I don't need to shut them all down. I need to turn them all on. Then I'm gonna have to select someone else. Thankfully, the way is already opened, which will allow me to get into here. Hopefully, that'll take care of that locked door. Otherwise, this is gonna be a royal pain to deal with. Well, the fans are turned on. This airlock is hard locked, of course. Check which one can get that closed. The interior door should automatically open. Fine, but how do I get the door closed? Ah, safe cracking. So Rogue's gonna be needed anyways. Okay, fine. Shut them all down. Don't know why it would be safe cracking. You'd think it'd be something else. But I guess it doesn't matter either way, simply because of the fact that the toxin's gone. Yo, Ro, you gonna fix that or not? Now, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. The fumes are unpleasant. The toxic ruminations of those fungal growths must all be collecting in the ventilation system. Uh, this what is fumes? where we keep our failed experiments. Some odd stuff in here. Come on, take the shot. Take the shot. Preferably before it spots you. Thank you. Alright, let's crouch. What do you got? 71, 86. The others can handle that mega maggot. I want you firing and failing to hit the superfly. Well, thankfully Angela hasn't gone rogue. She can't crouch down. If she's up against the wall and that counts, who knows. Can nobody hit these things? I mean, seriously. Well, at least these things are just as bad a shot as I am. Now, finish this maggot off. Thank you. Ah, uh, just going to ambush. Poor creature. I must put you out of your misery. Well, at least you can't get any more infected. Also, I think that might have reset the infection. Huh. Come on, Angela, you're always complaining about us missing. How about you lead by example and not miss yourself?
Ouch. Just take out the pod. You know what? Screw you, Angela. Screw it on purpose. No, I am not screwing up on purpose. I'm just taking out a pod so it doesn't affect more people than it already has. I got this. Clearly you I don't. Again, clearly you don't. There we go. All right, brains, take out that other one. Meant for you to do that solo, so I wasn't wasting ammo, but whatever. Speaking of which, how is my ammo state? Let's see, 31, 7, well, that doesn't really matter. 15, 15, 11, 65, of course, she has the most, because she's not doing anything. Let's see, if I recall correctly, there's actually some things you can find in here. Let's see, Soupy Mole, a Shambling Mound. Outdoorsman, a green herb in a pot. Green herb. Terrific. It's clicking to itself. This one, Piranha Plant 8 bit. That's a Mario reference. Pikmin. Let's see, each letter is written in a different color. Well, unless you're colorblind. See, I know there's something else in here we can get. At least there's supposed to be. Let's see, a red herb. Hmm. Yeah, in case you don't know, it's a rep. How did I not notice that person in the back? Rose has received mixed herb. Mixed herbs. It's, uh, okay. Yeah, seriously, how did I not notice her? Alright, quick save. Use the outdoorsman skill. Oh, that's what exploded. Good. Anything else in here? What's this? Uh, okay. Not seeing a computer there. Insert blood sample. Analyzing. Result confirmed subject is human female of American origin. Analysis indicates a higher than average potential intellectual capabilities. Statistical modeling also suggests unreasonably long tongue. Really, it's just gross. Weird. Oh well, uh, with that we've pretty much come to an end for this episode, because we're out of time, so I'm going to try and make next episode the last one where we take care of the East and West fields, so that maybe afterwards we can finally move on to Ranger Citadel, but who knows. 
So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit the little bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and also don't forget to hit our straw poll links to vote on our Armello upload schedule and to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.